Spot him down around the 25 yard line and let's see who comes out to run the show and you will hear the crowd make some noise for number 10. One of the first tasks for Kirby Smart when he got the job was make sure that Jacob Eason stayed true That's to right. his commitment. Yeah. The duty that lied nearest to him was to maintain the commitment of this quarterback. That was the linchpin of that entire recruiting class. Because now recruits recruit other recruits. He will swing it out to Douglas, makes the catch. Douglas to midfield and wearing the black jersey. He won't be tackled, but he'll be touched around midfield to give him a gain of 13, and Eason completes his first pass. You see him there, you know, nothing too electric. How about a check down to your back out of the backfield? You hear about the arm. They said what they were a little bit surprised and impressed by is his presence in the huddle already as an early enrollee. The guy's got some gravity to him when he walks into that huddle with his teammates, some guys that have played in that offensive huddle with him a lot of football. Again out to Douglas and only a couple of yards on that completion. Roundtree will push him out of bounds. Highest ranked quarterback recruits since 2006 for Georgia. Stafford was number five. Let's go downstairs to Shannon. You guys mentioned some of the highly recruited quarterbacks. Aaron Murray, one of those guys, he actually was here a couple weeks ago and had a, ch a chance to discuss things with Eason. He said, unlike, obviously, Murray, who got to redshirt his first season, it it's, it's full-blown. Expectations are high, and he's going to get in the fire very, very soon, right now, in fact. He said, enjoy it. Enjoy it, but study. <laughs> going to enjoy that one. Yes, he will. Riley Ridley, another early enrollee. The freshman out of Coconut Creek, Florida, picks up 34. That combo may be making plenty of those throws and catches for years to come. Coach said we're going to get some wild throws and wonder of wonders. What do we get? We get a downfield throw, maybe a little bit of foreshadowing of things to come out of this offense between these two. Riley Ridley and Jacob Eason hooking up for a big gainer in the passing game. Ball sits at the 20-yard line. Eason. That one's caught. The other early enrollee, Isaac Nauta. So this is an all-early enrollee drive the last couple of plays. Yeah, he's going to need to complete a pass to his left guard, Ben Cleveland, to hit for the cycle <laughs> right. here. All the early enrollees on the He's field. He's doing right rehab now. two hours a day, six days a week, 15 to 20 hours a week total. So he is really pushing himself to get back onto this field. Man, that sounds like Stench's workout routine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Taekwondo, <laughs> 15, 20 hours. Uh, he truly is. Uh, you know, sitting with him last year, multiple occasions, you, you, you talk to the young man, and he is. You can just tell he's just a motivated individual, and whatever he's going to do. He's just, you can just tell he has that inner desire to be the best in whatever it is. And there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to come back and, and be a top-notch SEC running back. I mean, there's just no question in my mind. He's so driven. I mean, the fact that, you know, see the graphic in comparison to one of the all-time, maybe the all-time greatest college football player in Herschel Walker, certainly one of the best running backs of all time, you can show that. Not only is he able to step in when he's healthy, but he's the type of guy that even in the face of adversity, having to come in for an injury or suspension, guys in front of him and come Don't in flinch and flinch when it gets crowded. So far, he's been relatively poised. You see there, six of seven. We've seen a couple of nice strikes downfield, some smart checkdowns as well. But don't flush into the rush that they've seen a couple times this spring. Pressure again, gets it off. There's a flag, a hold. Oh, and a big block. Quickness to shake loose. Third down and 12 now. Some more pressure comes. Eason. Pass is caught. That'll be a first down. He hits McKenzie. Gain of 13 when they needed 12. Nice pickup that time. Safety blitz again. 
able to fall back inside. Good job that time by Alden Bynum. Second down and 10. Ball sits right at the 14-yard line. Eason has time. He'll go underneath. Hits the tight end. Isaac Nauta. He'll take it down to around the seven-yard line. Give him seven yards. Clock goes under a minute here in the second quarter. You see there, Easton, you know, trying to work under a minute in the red zone, working up and down the line to make sure the call is communicated. Over the middle, pass is caught. They'll give him a touchdown seven yards away to Isaac Nauta. Another one of those early enrollee connections right over the football, Nauta. Gets his quarterback a target, turns around, flashes his hands. They did a good job in protection, picking up the pressure. Open up the window for that touchdown pass. Watch the Georgia Bulldogs and this guy, Jacob Eason. He put on a pretty good show. Back with more. What is that? <laughs> what that belt she's wearing. But Kirby does know about the lacrosse stick, so all is good here in Athens. Pass is caught. Jacob Eason in at quarterback again. Riley Ridley, the second time those two have connected. Picks up 16. You know, when talking to Kirby Smart about Jacob Eason, and obviously Come Jacob's out and focus out. on getting better every day and let them manage who starts when and where necessarily. You know, you look at what they start out with North Carolina, Nichols State, you know, and then they're going on the road for a couple of weeks. Right. Well, there's a lot of challenges at the other positions as well. That's the kind of throw right there, though, that people will be talking about for a long time this summer. Jacob Eason lays it right in the bread basket as he hits Reggie Davis, beating Aaron Davis down the near sideline. That was just flawless execution by the youngster. Look at this touch. Room to work with. Reggie Davis, fingertip catch, hauls it in, runs right underneath this pass. That's just a well-placed ball. And you talk about you know, what they've seen man, from this slowly as you can. But at the same time, you don't want to hold them back. Not a whole lot of redshirting in college football anymore. There's just not enough time. Pass is caught by Jackson Harris. Picks it's up a little five. sore, almost like a massage, because the, the blood is rushing to some of the areas yeah. that have been injured. Uh, so, yes. But I think if I went in there for the full three minutes and really did it the right <laughs> yeah, way, right. but I was a little nervous. So. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to get near that thing. I know Stinch didn't want to touch it. So, first of all, kudos to you yeah. for even attempting that. Yeah, so I great. took one for the team, guys. <laughs> yes, I took one for the team. <laughs> uh, is that thing height adjustable, I'm wondering? Because, Shannon, your head was still sticking out of there, but that would have come up to, like, Greg Pike's waist. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. I, I would assume that, yes, it is. But uh, you do have to rotate in it. And I got really nervous kind of rotating and was holding my hands out of that because your hands start to get very cold. Well, so. when you went down there yesterday after our meetings, you, you guys said you'd be back in like five minutes. And it was like 25 minutes later. Matt and I said, we better get out of here before, like, the police come or something. So. Diz, our producer, Diz, was trying. I was looking at him like, should I do it? <laughs> well, you survived. And congratulations on that. Well, Jacob Eason, his numbers today, 13 completions or make that 14 completions for 185 yards and that one is caught again what appears to be to his favorite target today Jackson Harris Jackson Harris having a heck of a day Jackson now has five catches for 151 yards wow yeah, been a lot of passes yo he's he's got everybody involved wide receivers he hit a couple of nice check downs to the running back okay. position Excuse me, 51 yards, not 150, 51 yards. We saw Georgia Tech wrapping up the schedule as always, but you were telling me they were working on playing a little option defense. I'll tell you what, watching that practice, there was a lot of things that jumped out to me, but one of them was in spring practice, that defense broke out, and they had, look at Isaac Mountain. What do you think they're excited about him? Picking up some yards after the catch. Wild throws that we've been hearing about. Number one pocket passer coming out of high school. Should still be in high school. Hooking up with Riley Ridley, Isaac Nauta, a couple of his fellow early enrollees, and finding Reggie Davis.